It's certainly no mystery to anyone that knows us here at Studio Mud Prince that music is a pretty big part of our lives. There are many games out there that use music you might be listening to every day to auto-generate their stages. One such game that just so happens to be in the shooting genre is Symphony by Empty Clip Studios. Symphony isn't the first time we've seen a shooting game spring to life from our playlists. Taito Space Invaders Infinity Gene also did it in music mode as far back as 2009, but Symphony does some really great things with the concept with some fantastic features. Let's take a closer look. The main goal in Symphony is to defeat five demons that have found their way into your music. By playing through your music library, it's your job to hunt them down and defeat them. Setup for Symphony is pretty simple. It easily accesses your music library and allows players to pick and choose which songs they would like to play within minutes. The controls are simple and intuitive as well, no matter which method you choose. Controller and mouse input is supported. Move and shoot. Each weapon can also be assigned to different buttons, adding a layer of customizability to an already super flexible system. And that's pretty much all there is to it in terms of input. Your ship in Symphony has multiple parts that can be destroyed by colliding with enemies or their shots. So long as the central part of the ship isn't destroyed, picking up music notes from felled enemies repairs and re-enables these damaged parts. These parts can each also have one weapon attached and tweaked, all of which are unlocked by completing songs in your library. Each one unlocked can only be placed once, so if more than one is desired for your arsenal, they would also need to be found and unlocked by playing through other songs. Pickups such as bombs, weapon power-ups, and invincibility are also unlockable in this manner. Some rare versions of the unlockable weaponry are also discoverable. That said, there's no real limit to the stages you can play in Symphony. Every song behaves differently, and with an infinite musical possibility comes an infinite stage set. Each song has multiple difficulties available from the start, but more are unlockable which can make them considerably more challenging. Thankfully, your weapons can also be upgraded with enough inspiration points and kudos, so scoring is essential to getting enough power to take on higher difficulties in Symphony, but more on that later. Upgrading these weapons makes them much more powerful by default, meaning that if your ship gets recapitulated, you won't lose as much oomph to your shots. Not only will the enemy opposition be generated from the music you're playing through, the stage's ranks changes with the music's intensity and flow, which is perfectly applied, as if by magic. Miss too many enemies, though, and your music will degrade and corrupt until you ultimately fail. Every now and again, a demon possessing the soul of a composer will appear in a stage and will have to be dealt with. These fights can be pretty tough compared to the standard enemy fair, and as they are defeated, they restore one of the five pages of music. With each one restored, new additional difficulty levels are enabled. Symphony basically comes together to make a game that's not only fun to play and explore, but also really addictive, actually. Throwing different genres, remixes, tempos, and more into Symphony to see what comes out of it, it's really a shooting game that can be played almost forever. Supplementing this gameplay is an integral scoring system that is critical to Symphony's progression. Much like Bangayo, which we took a look at in episode 119, Symphony's score is more or less confined to each and every stage that you play. Depending on the difficulty and how long and intense the music that the stage is generated from is, higher or lower target scores will be applied to the stage in question. The higher the achieved score, the higher the clear rank. The points scored during gameplay are called inspiration, and they can be boosted in a couple of ways. Collecting the music notes from defeated enemies in rapid succession adds up quickly and allows for quite a boost in score alone. However, as full waves of enemies are taken care of, a large music note will appear that can be chained so long as the chain indicator is lit. The higher the chain, the higher the bonus. If your ship is destroyed, any chains in play are ended, and a point deduction that varies according to difficulty occurs. This can also downgrade a player from achieving a score target, even if the score has already been achieved, so care should obviously be taken to keep your ship as intact as possible to get through without biting it for the highest payout. Post-stage, your inspiration is tallied up and added to the spendable amount used to unlock and upgrade new weapons and abilities. However, when achieving specific scores, a secondary score called Kudos is also obtained. Meeting the score requirement and collecting kudos for it only happens once per target. Kudos are also required for powering up weapons to higher levels. If people have the same music, online leaderboards can see how others stack up against you and your favorite songs, but the actual score is multiplied with a decimal factor. Mezzo Forte, for example, is multiplied by 0.96, so only 0.96 of your inspiration applies to the final value. Once again, the score is achieved in a stage-by-stage -stage manner, but of course, to compete, your opponents need to have the same music you do. All in all, the simplicity of the scoring in Symphony doesn't necessarily hold players back in upgrading their ships to a point that the hardest difficulties are in fact more manageable.
There are strong points to Symphony that should be fairly obvious here, but also other points that really stand out as well. Sure, sound is bound to be great, but how about the visual polish? The story? Well, thankfully it's all pretty great in the end. Symphony has a solid 3D graphics engine with an angled style firmly in vector territory, albeit much more full than what you'd have seen in a traditional vector graphics game. The engine is also rock solid. It's totally possible to play Symphony at over 100 frames per second, even with a lot of the special effects ramped up. Bloom lighting, tons of musical debris, and snazzy water effects are all fantastic to look at. The enemy design is also not only pretty good but easily distinguishes them from one another. This helps in being able to tell, at a glance, what behaviors they have and what attacks they'll perform. Your ship is also quite a bit differently designed so it won't get lost amongst the chaos on screen. The UI is just a little on the plain side, but it's more than functional. One major complaint, however, is the lack of multi-language support. You won't see any Japanese here. Of course, it's to be expected that Symphony's sound would be excellent, since by design, it has the best soundtrack of all time. Granted, the tunage that's included wasn't particularly our bag, but these tracks aren't the focus. It's all about the music you love. In this case, every BGM you've heard in this review is composed by yours truly, which further demonstrates how awesome Symphony actually is. If you're creative enough, you can just make more stages. Given this, there is literally an infinite soundtrack to Symphony, and that just rocks, pure and simple. Additionally, all of the sound effects and flourishes in the actual game and the BGM within its UI and menus is also top-notch. Symphony sure is an awesome little gem. They say that music is the language of the soul, so to that end, Symphony should be a very good fit for, well, everybody. But how does it stack up? Let's take a look. With multiple control schemes, Symphony is more or less a game anyone can play comfortably. Complete with tweakable inputs, no control scheme feels completely out of place. Symphony starts out easy enough, but the challenge ramps up when more difficulties unlock. Some songs will be inherently more difficult than others as well, leading to hidden difficulties players may not anticipate. There is literally no end to the stages you can play in Symphony, despite a 5 boss objective. Do you have a multi-terabyte hard drive? Then you can have multiple terabytes of stages. Symphony has a slick visual style that runs at a snappy rate. The UI is a little on the bland side, but entirely functional. With sound and music being the obvious standout here, Symphony is a game that can cater to literally billions of people's tastes. The sound effects and menu tracks are also 100% fitting. Symphony's concept is one that we've seen before in many titles across several genres, but the upgrades and customizability raise the bar in this title. So far, this is the best music generated shooting game there is. Symphony is a game that, much like the games of similar structure before it, will have me exploring the thousands of tracks poking around my computer's hard drive for a very long time. The bigger your library, the more there is to do, and it's pretty darn fun all the while. Symphony gets a 4.75 out of 5. You can get Symphony on Steam and other download services such as Desura for only $10. If you have a lot of M4A or iTunes tracks though, make sure to spring that extra dollar for the extra added support. And hey, if you liked what you heard in this review, check out my music at smpmusicproductions.bandcamp.com, link in the description below. Think of my albums as expansion packs. 